Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 5 of VMware Disaster Recovery where we are trying to set up the infrastructure with the help of VMware Replication and the SRM. So in last few videos we have discussed about the VMware vSphere Replication, we have, uh, we have gone through the uh, some technical detail of VM, VMware vSphere Replication and the use cases of the VMware Replication like where you can use like you can use the VMware replication for the data center migration and all so mm, and the second video we have deployed the VMware replication appliance in both the both uh, the source and uh, target destination uh, target data center of the our um, and, uh, our company so this is for example you can see we have we got two SXI hosts one vCenter and we one uh, VMware replication appliance in the source site and we have a same infrastructure and target site we we got a uh, vCenter server we got appliance uh, uh, vmware replication appliance and the um, and the dr site we uh, we are using these setups so in in last few videos we have set up and configured the our demo infra infrastructure so let's get check out so this is my demo infrastructure for this uh, infrastructure lab so the first machine is win to get uh, Win 2K12 DC01, which is my domain controller. Basically, this is running Active Directory and DNS role, and you can see all other details related to the disk, NICs, how many NICs are connected, uh, if it's part of a storage, it's if it's part of our uh, vMotion. All details are given here. If you want to set up the same infrastructure, you can use this infrastructure, uh, like demo infrastructure setup, and you can configure your home lab and. Um, at the pr practice lab for the VMware vSphere replication and the um, SRM. So we got one Win 2K12 iSCSI server which is providing the iSCSI storage to my ESXi host for the da data stores and all. And we got vCenter server which is running a appliance VCSS7 and the name of this appliance is INVCSS01. So this is running 7.0 and we got two ASXI prod ASXI 01 and 02 in our uh, prod site which is running also running on ASXI 7.0 and we have deployed in last uh, basically second video of the series we have deployed two VMware vSphere replication uh, version 803 on our production and DR site you can see here INDR v, VR is 01 which is VMware vSphere replication 803 and we got uh, uh, at the DR site also we have a two ASXI host and one vCenter server which is running um, a VCSS01 so this is infrastructure last video we uh, I have done like the last two videos we have configured the replication for these two virtual machine which is been to get all S1 and S2 and in last uh, uh, in the previous vid video we have uh, recovered this uh, virtual machine uh, from uh, our um, basically production side to dr side so in this in this um, uh, video i am going to recover that machine which is uh, uh, win 2 k 12 uh, s1 from the dr side uh, from the dr side which is target side to uh, fail back to the uh, source side so let's check out the infrastructure so this is my win 2 k 12 dc01 which is running active directory and dns I got my ES I um, ISKC server which is providing storage to my uh, all the ESXi host and these are the four ESXi hosts you can see production ESXi 01 production ESXi 02 and DR ESXi 01 and 02 so all are running uh, VMware ESXi 7.0 and this is my console machine which is running Windows 10 so I have access to both my this infrastructure like vCenter server for production which is INVCSS01 and this is my DR site which is INV, uh, INV, uh, INDRVCSS01 so these are the two ESXi environment uh, VMware environment you can say so in last video we have uh, done the fail fail back so I'm uh, fail over so I'm going to open the this uh, site recovery on the primary on the primary side so we can see so this is running 8 8.3.0 so open site recovery so we having uh, we having only one outgoing uh, connection uh, which we have uh, for uh, server 2 basically vm2 you can see 
in last video we have recovered this machine here win 2k 12 s1 so this is going to be available here so if you go to um, uh, basically a VMware article they don't have any failback automated failback process for if you are want to fail back your virtual machine from DR side to um, production side so you have to do it manually so the first thing which you have to do you have to make sure there was no uh, basically replication created for the that particular virtual machine for from the incoming or outgoing so I have no no incoming or outgoing for the that particular virtual machine so I'm good from there and if I go to virtual machine I can see here the virtual machine exists here so I need to remove this machine from inventory first so remove this from inventory which I'm uh, I'm trying to fail over so win 2k12 s1 so I'm going to remove it so you can see now it's removed so now if I go here I can see this machine is removed from the uh, inventory but it will just in the data store so if I go here just check out you can see here the virtual machine is uh, still available in the storage on the prod ds01 so we need to remember this storage because when we are going to reconfigure the um, basically a replication we need this disk to attach by using the seeding option so now I'm going to either you can create the incoming directly from here else you can go to the uh, DR site and you can create from there also so I'm going to create incoming connection to this my um, production site so you can uh, basically you can uh, call the virtual machine replication from the DR to your um, production site so this is going to be a site name target site name is going to be our production and auto assign for the replication server click next and then you got all three virtual machines which is running on the DR site you can see uh, uh, India DR so I'm going to select my virtual machine which I want to replicate click next and then you have a disk so I'm going to select my prod DSC cluster and then I'm going to select my data store when I'm going to select this data store it's going to uh, show you if you having already having the virtual machine um, st stored in that particular data store it's going to show you like this type of option possible replication seed are found on target they may be not in use unless you use the sheet option so I'm going to select this sheet uh, just for ch uh, checking if I select other virtual uh, other data store I'm not going to get that option because th those data store does not have the virtual hard disk and other configuration files so I'm going to select this option and going to sheet so it's going to only replicate the changes which uh, uh, which has been made since the virtual machine has been recovered or the data uh, at the DR side so click next so let make sure you selected the sheeting click next now it will give you the uh, to match the basically a disks uh, sheeting option so I got only one disk and you can see here uh, this machine is uh, attached with the correct disk so I can use this and the uh, selected sheet are corrected if you see this is not corrected you can go and browse and correct it so I know this is correct so click next and now you can set the replication time and everything so I'm going to set the recovery point as per my requirement and I'm going to enable the network compression also so click next and I'm done with this setting now so when I click finish is going to replicate the virtual machine from the DR side to the local site which is our mm, production site so you can see it's going to send the initial sync soon so it's going to replicate only basically the data which has been um, uh, changed after the um, after the machine is uh, fail over to the recovered or the DR side so it's not going to take long time so I'm going to pause the recording here and, and once the uh, replication is finished I will I will resume from there so now the incoming replication is completed successfully and now we can go ahead and click on recover to recover this virtual machine on a primary site 
uh, production side so I'm going to shut down this machine first on the DR side so the shut down this virtual machine so this process is going to be uh, completely manual so since we don't have SRM so yeah so recover this machine and going to use the synchronize the latest recent changes click next and set the folders where you want to put and the resource data store or uh, data center a cluster so you can see this virtual machine saying the already having the configuration file so so I can overwrite this configuration file click next and just click on finish so now you can see this machine is getting recovered so it will take few seconds only to recover this machine and register here so you can see the virtual machine is now registered and recovery is also completed so we are good so now I can go ahead and uh, delete this synchronization completely so forcefully and retain the replication disk click remove so now this replication is basically going to be deleted uh, from the primary uh, production to DR site so I'm going to delete this virtual machine now from the DR site or else you can just uh, uh, remove this machine from the inventory if you want to sheet a uh, sheets features to resync only actual data which is changed so I'm going to remove it and then we are good to power in this machine the power in is all bit already done so I just need to reconnect the network so network is reconnected now just go ahead and click on reconnect and this is done and now if I go and verify this machine you can see if I go and log into this virtual machine which we have just failed back from the DR to production I'm going to check the network connectivity and all make sure the connection is working fine I have one sure machine does not have any issue so NS lookup I'm going to make sure uh, NS lookup is happening just go and pick in the DC so DC is also picking so this machine is quite good now and it's working fine and the last step which we need to perform we need to create the replication again from our production side to DR side so I'm going to create now just select the just go to outbound outgoing and click new and select the click next and then you need to select the virtual machine click next and target data store so I'm going to select my data store cluster and then I'm going to select my data store uh, and this is going to uh, show you you have a uh, already uh, the four of uh, files of the this particular virtual machine in the data store so you can use the seed option so click next and select the seed so it's going to ask you the hard disk mapping so I have only one disk so this seed is correct click next and select the required things as per your requirement so I'm going to select enable the network compression and all so click next and just click on finish so now this is going to sync soon from prod to DR again so basically this is how we can fail back our virtual machine uh, back to of uh, uh, production from the DR side so in last two videos we have seen how how to recover a virtual machine from production to DR and this video we have seen how to uh, fail back that particular virtual machine from DR to production so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye